Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is the next of our interviews in this series that we're doing with our absolutely treasured CMA members. Today, I'm actually joined by Melton Arakan, um, one of our beautiful members who just does so much good in the world. So welcome, Mel Melton. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure for me. Oh, good. OK, my love. Well, look, could you possibly tell the, tell us a little bit, uh, tell the viewers a little bit about the work that you do, uh, because you've got such an interesting life story. Um, so if you can possibly just give us a, a snapshot of that, I think that would be fascinating. Um, OK, just first, if you want to explain a little bit my story, then what I'm doing may be more sense. And um, I'm born in Turkey. And I was a writer and businesswoman in Turkey. Uh, I have published 11 books and um, I wrote five theater play. They just stayed all around the world. And eight years ago, I wrote an absurd theater play called Me Minor. Then my life became more absurd than my play uh, because the Turkish government accused me. I just trained people to coup d'etat for Turkish government. It, yeah, it was un unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And they create really huge hate campaign. Mm -hmm. And and I had to leave country like, like a wartime is one luggage and came UK. Mm -hmm. And it was really horrible how I feel. I just, what I uh, had been through. And then it is not easy to start a new life, a new country. Um, and my English back then, not really good. I feel so ashamed to talk about because as a writer, I can't explain myself. So um, really looking back over the past few years of my life, I have been thrown into navigating the most challenging life experience. And the process really not easy for me. Um, sometimes my soul, sometimes my heart, sometimes really all myself hurt a lot. Uh, but it also causes me to recognize a liberation I have never known before. And nature has helped me a lot. And the most significant significant benefit of this process is that I'm learning like a child again. Mm -hmm. So I just start to understand what is going on. Even in Turkey, uh, I have had a lot of people who abuse victim and I studied its psychology in, in universities, uh, not I, uh, graduate psychology, but uh, as a lesson, I did psychology and sociology. So uh, I just did some workshop again in Turkey, but they are not enough because what I discover, I need more because, because if I understand myself, if I heal myself, then I'll show people the way how they can um, heal themselves. Before all my experience, you know, I believe is I found something, someone to give the happiness to me, to just teach the way that it is not my responsibility. It's kind of a thing. It's someone responsible. They give some secret things, then I feel happy. But in all these experience, what I learned is not working like that. Mm. You have to find your way and you have to work about work for this so then i just try to understand okay what is my way what is help to me yes i know nature is very helpful and i start doing courses i did 25 different courses yeah it is it's a uh, first and all these uh, um complicated life, I diagnosed autism uh -huh. in 25 years old, yeah. 50, 52 years old, sorry, 52 years old. Yes. And you know, it is another layer for me. And, and when I just look back, I see how autism affect me a lot. Right. And people believe if you are high functioning, it is not really affected you. 
it's totally wrong. It yes. is affected every uh, decision which how what I did. Yes. So first I start doing autism awareness course, advanced autism awareness course, and then counseling course, and then shadow practitioner course, um, and then holistic health practitioners uh, course, art therapy, music therapy, journalist therapy, shamanic healing. So 25. And you know, it's just I spent one year only nature and the course. I start learning more. And then suddenly I just find peace in my inside. And I just woke up every day. Wow, thank you. What is what it, it, it's lovely to be in this world. Even sometimes things get very hard. Yeah. And I decided, okay, I want to spend all my life later to help people, which I did Turkey, but this time I want to do that professionally. I, I, I want to do everything which I capable of. And I have to say people, no, I can't do. This is more than my knowledge. Because when you just uh, training, you learn when you have to say, uh, sorry, it is not uh, my uh, responsibility. It is too much for me. So I, the training all teach this to me. And then when I decided, uh, first thing I'll did became your member because what I just um, research and learn, first of all, everything is very professional. Mm -hmm. and, and I know uh, I can find super, the supervisor there. And I know if I just join all the another training and keep, uh, working with you very close it's helped me I feel more safe and I feel okay if I can't understand if I do something not okay then uh, I have people to support me and I talk to them yes absolutely no that that's that's fantastic and I'm, you know something Melton it makes me very proud to to hear that that's how you feel about the complementary medical association because you know we really pride ourselves on uh supporting our members and so that's really beautiful that you say that so thank you very much for sharing that so back to you as a practitioner um what are your actual goals as a counselor um you know ultimately where are you going and who are the people that you look after uh, first of all, uh, I have two, uh, two different kinds of uh, uh, people which I try to help. Uh, but my aim, I want to work with autistic people who diagnose like me very late yeah. or who diagnose and then they, uh, they just finish their adolescent year. So uh, because I believe uh, I can show the way uh, how they protect themselves and how they able to live without mask. Do you know, it's just the masking Yes, is awful for us, but we all try to fit in this world using mask. And the other um, client, so I have a couple of peoples now all around the world, um, mostly they are women, and mostly they uh, a little bit close to their uh, menopause or someone have new baby is just their life is changed. They yeah. don't know how they handle this. Um, so I'm mostly working a uh, woman uh, because in Turkey, all my books about woman existence. So uh, they know me very well. And when I just start doing, people really uh, wants to uh, this uh, practice and the healing process with me. But um, so this is what I want to. I just want to help uh, which woman in menopause um, stage because you know it's uh, it's hard a lot of people and they don't know how they handle this psychologically. And, and you know how positive psychology is help 
uh, to feel better. And the other part of, I really want to work with autistic people. Yes, of course, absolutely. I think it's very important that, you know, when we do work with people that we have empathy and clearly that, you know, that is something that you would certainly have with those groups. And I think that's absolutely beautiful work. So let's, um, we'll, we'll wrap this interview up now, Meltem, uh, by uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing how people can actually contact you. Yeah, uh, people connect me from my uh, website. It's uh, maltamarikan.com right. and they can send an email uh, maltam at maltamarikan.com and they can find me uh, your website, yeah, my website. So, yes, and okay. even if they remember my uh, email, if they just wrote in Google Malta Marikan, they easily find me. Fantastic. And also, I must say, if anybody's watching this on YouTube, there's a little down arrow just on the lower right hand side of the actual video itself. If you click on that, what happens is it opens up the little box with the show notes and Melton's contact details are all there as well. And a little bit of information about her and the wonderful work that she does in the world. So Melton, thank you so much for being with me today. It's such a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for everything that you do and the beautiful way that you look after people out there. It's, it's an absolute blessing to the world. Thank you so much. I thank you and I'm just so happy part of um, CMI and just keep doing what we are doing. Oh, fabulous, Michelle. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you.